What's going on, guys? This is Haas, and welcome to my Christmas special. Merry Christmas to everyone that is listening. Merry Christmas to everyone who isn't listening. Merry Christmas to everyone who doesn't give a shit about me. And Merry Christmas to the people who think I'm amazing, which they are right. So, basically, this is just my little Christmas special. I'm going to explain some stuff about where I came from, uh, generally in gaming and everything like that, as well as leadership uh, with specifically WoW, but this can branch off into other games, absolutely. Uh, first off, my history with gaming. Um, obviously, my first big title was Diablo. Uh, I also played a few minor titles like Soldier of Fortune. Uh, I did play Doom. I played a lot of first-person shooters and pinball, obviously, and stuff like that. Uh, that was back when I was a kid. Um, eventually, it turned into, like, as soon as I played Diablo, it turned into, you know, I gotta play more games. Diablo 2 came out, I ended up playing Diablo 2, and that's really, I believe, what shot me into the further gaming uh, sessions. Um, or you guys understand the word that I'm looking for, but that's what shot me into that direction. So basically, uh, I went from Diablo 2 to Go to Destruction to, you know, every, every game that you could think of uh, between RuneScape, um, between WoW and everything else. Also, I had an Xbox at the time. I also had Sony and everything. Like, I had a lot of systems, but I was primarily into PC gaming after Diablo. Um, my history, that's pretty much my history in gaming, like a very abbreviated version. The biggest title that I have played to date and the longest I've ever played a game was seven years, and that's World of Warcraft that I am now currently not playing for, I think, three months now. Uh, I quit before uh, a couple months ago, and then I started back up again. I, I quit for, I think, something like seven months, then I came back just to... I don't know, I was bored. Star Wars wasn't out, nothing was really out, so I needed something until D3. So, basically in WoW, uh, I started out in Vanilla. Uh, I didn't really do too too much in Vanilla. Um, basically, we went from Vanilla to Burning Crusade. Once I was in Burning Crusade, uh, that's when everything you know, started to... Um, grow. Actually, let me backtrack back into Vanilla. Uh, I actually joined a guild, and this guild was a guild from a podcast, so there was a podcast making a guild and whatever. So I joined the podcast guild. The podcast guild was UPS. We deliver. Um, now, UPS, right, under City Parcel Service, uh, was my first guild. And there I met, you know, some people like Lakey, who was the leader and the uh, main host of the podcast. So there, you know, me and her always talked and whatever, and we had a great time. Um, I wasn't really close with anyone, really. Like, in the guild, like, it was really hard, because this is my first MMO, real MMO, other than Diablo. That's my only other... Uh, experience so I wasn't really connecting with anyone and then someone named Leonard came around and me and him became friends started talking all the time uh, I'll carry on with the story in a second and you'll see where it ends but we'd always talk there I also met a few other people uh, one person you may know is Racker uh, Racker I met oh god had to be almost six years ago I met Racker. Um, basically, we met, and uh, he was a little jealous of me, actually, because when he got into the guild, I was away on a month-long vacation. I came back, and Leonard instantly gave all the attention to me, because me and Leonard were good friends at the time. And Racker just kind of, like, thought, who the fuck is this guy coming back, right? So... He was a little jealous at first. He probably won't admit it, but he was. 
Uh, anyway, so me and Racker ended up hitting it off, and he was this crude young child, mainly because of a British guy in our guild named Chris, who was demented as fuck. I cannot stress how demented this guy was. Uh, he was pretty fucked up, but he pretty much corrupted Racker to what he is today, so everyone can, you know, say, you know, say thank you to Chris. Anyway... So that ended, and uh, we ended up making our first raiding guild. Now, the first raiding guild was named Express because it was a branch off of UPS. We wanted the affiliation with both guilds, so both guilds were technically one guild. We just had two different guilds just so we could raid and have it better. Um, at that point, I was appointed as raid leader uh, by a few people. I had no idea that it was going to happen. I was kind of pulled aside and I was told, hey, uh, we're looking to make you raid leader, you know, um, you've been really good in raids, yada yada, so we want you to lead us. So I thought that was amazing. Um, and we started raiding, we started Kara, and uh, we started working really, really hard at um, getting ready for the first boss in SSC, I can't exactly remember, Hydros, his name was Hydros, so we were getting ready for Hydros. And I was playing a warlock at the time. Uh, at the same time, I was leveling a paladin. I think I had just gotten him up to 70. This is Burning Crusade, sorry. Um, so I had just gotten him up to 70, and I was leveling the paladin, whatever. And we were really short on tanks. Like, our tanks were not good. Uh, we had Racker, who was an alright tank at the time. But he had only done Kara once or twice and whatever. But I had him farming out nature resist gear. Right, and I had um, another tank farming out frost resist gear. Well, that other tank ditched out or was just shitty and we couldn't do it with him. So basically what happened is I ended up getting my paladin up to 70. With zero gear at all, I ended up getting all the... Uh, um, or no, I, I got the nature resist, sorry. I ended up getting all the nature resist gear. And I, I had shit other pieces shit off pieces so we went in and we we wiped nine times or eight times and we got it on the ninth try trash had just respawned we we were tired we hated life i was getting upset at everybody but finally we got it and it was such a big celebration and event when we killed hydro so like, that was the biggest the biggest achievement that we had ever gotten the most that we ever did was Kara and now we killed one of the hardest bosses in SSC uh, mainly because of you know placement and everything else so we did that right we didn't even go to lurker first because lurker usually you would go to him first and then you'd go back to Hydros when you're a little more geared and able to kill him faster that didn't happen so we did this we we were so excited we went to lurker everyone was too tired and we wiped so that that was ssc uh the guild kept on going um i want to say it kept on going through all the way to uh uh halfway through tk we um actually yeah halfway through tk a little more than half uh we had killed um who's the robot guy oh my god i can't even think of his name um, well, I'm going to talk about him. Uh, everyone knows who he is until I look at him. Uh, TK. Uh, oh, I should probably type in Tempest Keep. Anyway, um, we had killed him, and he obviously dropped the Tear Shoulders, so everyone was really excited about him uh, dropping Tear Shoulders. Like, that's that's amazing. Everyone gets their first Tear Shoulders. So, the uh, his name is Void Reaver. So, everyone gets their Tear Shoulders, whatever. We're happy. So, we kill him for the first time. And at this point, I'm on my Paladin now instead of my Warlock. Mainly because I'm... Uh, it's not that I was a better Paladin. I'm, like, I was still a really good Warlock. But uh, it was the fact that we couldn't find any good tanks. And I really enjoyed playing my Paladin. I really enjoyed being a tank. So, uh, whatever we you know were doing that, we were killing Void Reaver. Killed Void Reaver for the first time. We had um, two 
tokens that were Shaman Paladin, uh, I can't, Shaman Paladin Hunter, I think they are, um, and then one token for Warlock, Warrior, uh, Priest, I think, but I'm not 100% sure what, all I know is it had Warlock on it. So we gave the first token, the Warlock token, we gave that to AOD, that you all know. Keep in mind, sorry guys, uh, I'll backtrack a little bit back to SSC really quick, sorry. Um, we met AOD back when we met somebody else named Bimela back in um, Gruel's Lair. So we brought all these people in, right, and we pugged AOD and Bimela and a bunch of other people. I don't think they knew each other at all, but uh, we had just them all in a raid at one point. We also had uh, people like Ilanaria, and I don't think we had Elf at the time, but Elf was floating around. I think he was just about to join the guild. Um, so basically, oh, by the way, for everyone wondering, it's Elf from Tuck UI, that Elf. Uh, he was raiding with us. Uh, he won't admit this, he will never admit this, but I kind of taught him how to tank. So he won't ever say that that's right but just know I taught Elf how to tank and I gave him a shot at rating so you know uh, I, I don't mean to take all the credit for him because he's done some great things in his wild career but uh, I feel pretty proud that you know I was there to start him off anyway um yeah so that's where we met AOD so Void River dies first tier token goes to AOD um no. No, 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 sorry. A helmet went to AOD. And... I can't remember where the tier token went. But one of them went to Tree, which was, um... A elemental shaman. Uh, and also a good friend of mine. Uh... I still talk to her boyfriend all the time. Uh, they're both really good friends of mine. That's Shane. Uh, and then the second tier token I put up on Loot Council. Um... And I had a rule with Luke Council that I was not allowed to vote. If I'm, or if you're looking for an item and you're on Luke Council, you're not allowed to vote. So I just put it up there and I was obviously looking for it, but I, I didn't even expect that I was going to get it. And I, I remember looking at officer chat and just seeing everyone, as soon as I linked it, everyone just typed in Haas. It was such a good feeling to see that everyone, you know, wanted me to have that first piece of tier that was being put into the guild like this is the first piece of tier that we ever got right so I, I was I was getting it I was I was super ecstatic about it I couldn't believe it I, you know I, I didn't think that they'd choose me to give it uh, to give it to so that was that was amazing um after that I ended up uh uh, we ended up killing Solaris, and then we killed Alar, uh, and nothing really substantial out of that. Um, we ended up farming uh, uh, Void Reaver a lot. Um, I remember one Void Reaver kill. We actually gave AOD his shoulders after we gave him a helm last week. So on our second kill, we gave AOD his shoulders. And I actually had another Warlock cry that she didn't get the shoulders. And I like it just blew me away. I was like, why would somebody cry for this? Like AOD is here. AOD deserves the shoulders. You're not getting the shoulders. I did not promise you any shoulders. She says that I said that she'd get the shoulders. But how I said is AOD got the helm, so he probably won't get the shoulders. Is what I said before the raid. And I ended up deciding to give it to AOD. It wasn't only my decision. It was also Luke Council. She was pretty pissed off at that. But that's Illinaria, and I don't think that started it, but I think that had something to do with Illinaria and Vrayvray's relationship, that they are still together today, which is amazing. You guys are still together after fucking way too long. That's that's great. So I'm, I'm really happy for you guys. I hope everything's going well. You know, I, I, I miss both of you. Um, anyway, so... Uh, that basically happened and whatever, so yada yada. Um, after that, what I did next, I'm not particularly proud of. I actually left the Guild Express uh, after we killed the first boss in um, Hyjal. 
I left Express and went across over to Arthas and joined uh, I can't remember the name Supremacy I joined Supremacy where we killed Archimond and up to uh, past here on Gorfine. I think we were on uh, the Souls guy the three heads <clears throat> so we were on him um and yeah so there was nothing really substantial about that other than the Archimon kill <clears throat> prior to that though I was in sedition for a little while where I got a lot of my hydro experience from um I ended up coming back to uh, Spirestone to create another guild called Defiance. This had this was in Wrath of the Lich King. This had Racker, uh, AOD in it, and a few other people. So I was raiding with them. Uh, we got we got most. I think we finished um, all of Nax. Yeah, we definitely finished all of Nax, and uh, we killed Malagos and everything else like that. And then we went into um, Old War, and the day that it came out, we killed the first boss, uh, almost no problem. Then we went for XT before any other boss, and XT totally annihilated us. Like, we had zero chance at XT. XT totally fucked us. Um, after the first week, morale was lost, and everyone just left. Or not everyone just left, I shouldn't say that. Uh, morale was lost. Nobody showed up for raids because they knew it was just gonna be a big wipe fest to get XT down. Even though we were still in like some competition with Sedition at the time, because Sedition hadn't killed XT either, so we were still fighting them. Um, but after three days of raiding, people just stopped showing up, and then the morale was lost. The next raid that was scheduled, ten people showed up and. Unfortunately, me and AOD, uh, again, I left the guild and me and AOD both moved to a different server. I can't remember the server. Uh, and yes, we left Racker behind. I know you guys are thinking we're assholes and we are assholes. Uh, we left Racker behind. Racker took it pretty hard. So, just so you guys know, Racker did take that really hard. And I also left a lot of good friends. I left Lakey and Shane. You know, uh, guys, I'm really sorry about what I did it, you know I, I would have rather just play with my friends instead of go to other guilds but whatever decisions are decisions the past is the past um, we ended up going to a guild called Solstice where we cleared up to uh, up to the boss before Yogg's around I remember that and then the guild broke up we did not leave this guild the guild broke up alright so once the guild broke up uh, we went over to, or no, AOD, I can't remember where AOD went. I think AOD went back to Spirestone to raid with Sedition. And I ended up going to, actually, yeah, oh, hold on. Sedition used to be Savage way back in the day. Just a little history. Anyway, um, I, w I actually ended up going to Anetheron to join Mediocracy, which was not the biggest guild at the time, but still a pretty substantial guild um, like it was ranked 400 in the US I believe so it wasn't like anything crazy um, and then the second I got in there uh, I got in there with huge disconnecting problems there's a lot of problems with my internet at the time that had just happened my internet provider Rogers really fucked me over uh, spliced my cords and uh, just destroyed me um, anyway so I finally got it fixed but either way the first trial period the first day that I was in trial they really needed a rep paladin I was in there I was disconnecting and just being horrible like I looked like a fucking retard playing the game like I had never played so bad in my life and here I am in this really good guild and I'm just playing like a fucking scrub so whatever I, I play that one day and then I'm like yeah I'm sorry I'm, I, I can't raid with you guys because of how bad my internet is and how bad I'm playing uh, that's that's what I said to them like 
uh, that was it. And they told me, okay, well, you know, we'll try our hardest to replace you. So they tried their hardest to replace me. I didn't log on for a raid after that. I was just kind of depressed. I logged on, I think accidentally, and I got an invite right away and they said listen we just need a rep paladin we don't need you to do anything else just please just come we know that you know you're not playing the best and we know that your internet sucks but just come in and we'll see what happens right they they just wanted a rep paladin like they had a rep paladin coming so they had my replacement um so i i said yeah so i logged in and we went in and we killed uh, we killed, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, hard mode, um, council, iron council hard mode. We killed iron council hard mode after a couple, uh, attempts. Um, I didn't play as badly, but still my internet was pretty bad, and that caused a few wipes. Um, past that, we, you know, went through and... Uh, cleared the rest of our trash and whatever. The next week, actually, um, and I had raided with them ever since that. The next week, actually, the new paladin came in, and I just remember this paladin coming in and getting invited, and I get subbed out, and he gets in, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I expected this to happen because I did say that I'm not gonna raid with them. Um, eventually, we just started subbing each other in and out. Like, me and the other paladin would discuss things. And so like, hey, I want this ring. Did you want this ring? And he's like, no, you can have it. Come on in. So we started doing it like that. And, you know, our, our guild leader, Beats, was really happy with that at the time. He was like, that is great. You know, you guys, I'm just going to give you guys assist. You guys switch in and out and do what you need to do. Right? So he doesn't have to worry about it. So it was just me and, you know his name was Vidin, the other paladin so it was just me and Vidin, you know basically uh deciding which bosses we wanted and it worked great because i got to sit out and watch a movie he got to sit out and watch a movie you know we didn't always want to be there for trash right and nobody really did so what well, we would just switch out when we didn't want the boss so it was it was pretty simple it was a pretty good system um uh, I liked it, he liked it, and that was amazing. Eventually, Vadim uh, left, uh, I can't remember why, I think for school or something, um, and I stayed, and it just progressed from there. I ended up getting more and more loot, I ended up getting better and better, uh, as well as my internet not being fucking horrible, uh, and, you know, it, it just got better from there. Um, we went to TOC, uh, and you know went through a bunch of that uh i don't know the exact extent of the drama like i do know the drama but i'm not going to go into it because it was really personal a lot of the drama in um in the guild that happened but i think it had something to do with me not getting loot for a little bit in toc uh i think it had a you know some some kind of effect on it uh, because I didn't get, um, uh, for example, uh, what's it called? Death's Choice, I believe. I didn't get the Heroic Death's Choice. Instead, they gave it to Darkata, which um, all you Mediocracy members know. Darkata left that week after. Actually, was kicked out, rather, that week after. And it was just me and him rolling on it. So Beats gave it to Darkata over me. Uh, whether that was, you know... Uh, some something to do with me or what like i have an idea of what it was but not even you guys might know like not even the management so you know who who knows what the real thinking of because i never got confirmation i never wanted to ask um anyway so that happened and then uh uh yeah uh, beats had left the next week because of personal issues um i believe tied to the same uh, issues that I was involved in uh, and yeah so he he left uh, because of some stuff and the next raid we went in Smitty or Smittens was the raid leader and loot council and everything and he 
just instaluted the next death wish to me. Uh, like, I literally got all the loot that dropped that I wanted that night. We went into ICC and I got my best in slot heroic bracers. Just everything. And at the end of the night, Smitty's like, sorry you haven't been getting any loot lately. Like, that's that's great. So, you know, I, I had some acknowledgement that, you know, uh, I am going to be getting loot. As soon as I got loot, my DPS just shot right up. This is when I really started to hit uh, a lot of record high um, uh, charts where uh, I hit one. Um, if any of you guys know who Blue Deep is, that was in Cuties only before they broke up. He beat me on one uh, uh, record on TOC, the council, or whatever the hell, champions. Um, he beat me on that record by 1%. Keep in mind, I was so far ahead of everyone else. He beat me because he had a broken axe from... ICC and I did not have that axe. That cocksucker had that axe and beat me. That is the only reason he beat me. So, just so you guys know, that's why. Um, yeah, so shortly after that, uh, Mediocracy um, broke up because we lost beats and he was pretty much the core of the guild. Like, I was made, um, I was made officer uh, of the guild uh, and you know, uh, I helped for a little bit, but it, without beats, it just kind of lost and went downhill. We tried to recruit, but we just couldn't happen. Um, <clears throat> after that, I ended up going to, uh, oh, where did I go? Yeah, I, I, I started playing my Death Knight, and I went to play with a friend over uh, some server, some guild, I don't know. I was doing Lich King hard mode on my Death Knight that wasn't geared at all and I was still topping DPS um, anyway uh, they were wiping and they broke up so like they literally broke up two weeks after I joined um, it was funny because they didn't want to give me Shadowmorn but they had no one else to give it to uh, so they started giving my death knight uh, shards that's neither here nor there so I ended up starting playing my Paladin again, and then I got an offer from a guild called uh, Paradigm. I got an offer from this guild. If you come and raid with us, we will give you a Shadow Mark. I thought, that's a great deal. I get to raid with, you know, a bunch of people that aren't the best people, so I don't have to, you know, try as hard. And at the same time, I can look like a fucking god in every single DPS fight. I went in there, I did exactly that. I top charts every single fight. Didn't matter what fight it was, I always top charts. Um, <clears throat> and they gave the first Shadow Moon that they were already working on to, uh, fuck, what was his name? <sighs> he was some idiot I can't even remember his name but I know that he was part of yeah it doesn't matter um either way they gave him the shadow Mourn because he was already halfway through as soon as they gave him the shadow Mourn, they sort of give me the shadow Mourn. that's great you know I'm I'm helping them progress the second they gave me or started giving me the shards they asked me to be a raid leader right which pissed that warrior off because he thought that I hated him because of some drama that happened in mediocrity. I didn't hate him. I really didn't give a fuck. Um, so basically, that went on and whatever, and I was leader, and I showed him that I was a fucking great leader. Uh, later on, we're progressing through, and the guild leader, this is, I had three shards left. I remember this. Three shards left to get. The guild leader had left. So it left me and my good friend that I still talk to today, Nidalia. It left me and him. With him leaving, we also lost the majority of people. Plus, we didn't have good attendance at all. I have three shards left. I need three shards until I get my Shadow Mon. Three motherfucking shards. And I can't get the Shadow Mon. I was so pissed off. So... I begged everyone that was still in the guild, listen, just please, I'm going to pug it, we're going to do this normal, and we're just going to get my Shadow Mourn. Please, 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 please help me. So sure enough, everyone helped me. Everyone kind of pulled together and brought their friends in, brought their alts, and whatever they could. 
and they got me those three shards that night. I got my Shadow Mon that night, and then we ended up killing the Lich King that night. Um, then everyone realized that they, you know, want to keep going, and I was, I can't remember if, I don't think I was guild leader. I'm pretty sure Nidalia was guild leader, but I know that me and Nidalia were really sharing, um, the, uh, the, the weight of the guild. Like, we were both doing equal, equal work to keep everything afloat, and we kept it going for a long time. Uh, we kept it going for a really long time. Um, eventually, that all passed. Um, uh, yeah, that, that passed. Everyone left, and me and Nide uh, decided that it was time to let the guild go. So we opened up the guild bank and told everyone, hey, we're going to be here for a week. You know, you can ask us any questions. The guild is not going to be raiding anymore. Uh, if you want to leave, you can leave. You can take five things out of the guild bank, and we divvied up all the gold for everybody in the guild that we thought deserved it. So that you know that happened. Um, yeah, so that that is that, and then I ended up after that um, not raiding for a long time, and. Eventually, I ended up going back. No, not to Sparsone. I, I went. To, I went to Arthas. I went to back to Arthas, and had me and Racker and Aod. Aod and Racker both came to Arthas with me. Um, keep in mind, I was not raiding with either of these people at the time for a good year, or two years. This is how loyal these two guys are. Uh, you know, I, I love that they've been there you know through the entire gaming experience with me um anyway so they ended up coming uh over to Arthas with me and we started a guild uh for some reason I can't think of what it was called I'm pretty sure it wasn't the best title but I'm, I'm sure it was okay um anyway so we went into the first instance of Cataclysm I can't remember what it's called we killed the worm and a few other things and we killed them hard mode and then we stopped and me and Racker was it? I can't remember if it was me and AOD or me or oh never mind no it was it was definitely me and um uh, Sam and sorry Sam I have no idea what fucking characters you play I, I can't even fucking remember your characters so sorry but also shout out to Citrup um, so yeah, it was me and Sam in there. Oh, no, no, Racker was in there too. AOD wasn't in there. He went back to Spirestone at that time to hang out with Elf. Um, because Elf, throughout all this, keep in mind that Elf is really good friends with all of us. Um, anyway, so, so that happened over Spirestone and we were in a 10 man guild, whatever. I was getting loot as a holy paladin and that was it. That, I, I just, uh, eventually I just like, yeah, I don't want to raid anymore, I don't want to play this game. And that's when I stopped. Stopped playing the game for a long time. Uh, I'd probably say seven months uh, to ten months. And then I started up again just recently, you know, started leveling up a warrior, and then I stopped. Uh, so, I haven't been playing WoW since, that's pretty much the end of my raiding. Um, I really wanted to talk a little bit a little bit about my leadership strategies, um, how I manage people, uh, is one of them. Uh, basically, like uh, managing people was not the easiest part, especially making people come on time. You know that was really hard. Working with people's work schedules, dealing with excuses after excuses, and really you have to punish people, right? You have to really be down on them and make them know. And make everyone else know this is why the raid's not happening because this person didn't come. This is why, right? So everyone can really reflect on that. I know that's a really bad thing to say, but it's right. It's just making them feel shitty that they messed the raid. You know, that, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, I ran always with Blue Council. You know, you can't ever. Uh, you can't ever play favorites when you're doing loot council, and I never did. Uh, on the contrary to what everyone thinks, I never played favorites. 
um, keeping on track with rating uh, progression uh, making sure you're going fast in instances just keep on pushing your players just keep on going at trash pull after trash pull especially if you're the tank if you're the tank it really helps I was the tank and the raid leader so I was able to keep the trash pulls going and I told Racker Racker you don't stop for anything I don't give a fuck if the healers say that they need mana you go if you die it's the healers fault and he said okay and what did he do he fucking went and that's what I loved about Racker I just had to tell him something and he'd do it um, Keeping up morale, which is, you know, having new bosses getting downed, loot distribute, uh, distribution, um, mounts, and everything else like that. That was more in Wrath of Lich King. Uh, recruiting, you gotta make sure that you're hard on your recruiting and make sure that who's coming in is not a total fucking asshole. Uh, and then your officers have a few amazing officers, not too many. We had... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to say seven officers in Express. Uh, it was good because they didn't ever fight me about raiding. It was only me and Lakey that ever dealt with any of the raiding. No one else dealt with anything. They were part of Loop Council, yes, but me and Lakey uh, controlled the raiding. Nobody else had any say in it. It didn't really matter. Um, other than that, that's. That's pretty much it. I've been talking for a long time. I just wanted to, I just wanted to give a few shoutouts uh, before I sign off and everything else like that. First off, I want to say a shout out to Lakey. You know, you you've been there since almost day one, right? We always talk. I I know we haven't talked lately, but we talk a lot. So you know, I, I really appreciate you know you being my friend for seven years about seven years um neji i remember you uh hose head buddy i haven't seen you in a long time i hope your baby's going all right i hope everything's fine uh with your wife and everything like that you know shout out uh drala drala you need some help i just talked to you recently you need some drug counseling but either way fucking love you dude we need to party sometime next time you're in london uh very very uh love you light lauren i love you very very uh, elf elf you you've been there for a while like me and you have talked for a little bit you can be a little sketchy sometimes and not talk to me for a while you know and it makes me sad elf i miss my baby um all right and Abram, uh Abram, actually there's a funny story about me and Abram. um for the people that know Abram. Uh, Abram just, you know, me and him never talked in, in game. We, we talked a little bit, but during raids, we didn't really, you know, we, it's not like we were friends or anything, but we weren't mean to each other. We were, you know, acquaintances. We talked a lot, whatever. Um, recently, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I walked into uh, a store that I used to go into, Games Workshop, if anyone knows, uh, and... I walked in there and I started to talk to some old friends of mine and then this guy comes up and he's like you sound a little familiar and then I started talking about WoW with him we started talking about WoW a little bit and he's like what was your name in WoW I'm like Vatheric right and he's like that sounds familiar and he started telling him, me about his guild on Spirestone I'm like what guild were you in on Spirestone and he's like I was in Sedition I'm like I was in sedition too and he's like oh I knew I remembered your voice so that that was cool um yeah Abram Barley uh, Ben which is Lakey's friend I don't know your characters names it's been so fucking long dude uh, I miss you Shane Tree Marvin Heather I hope your kids doing all right I hope everything's doing fine uh, you know I hope you guys are finally getting married I hope Marvin finally has a job um, Beams, Beams, Beamella, Dominic Y, I love you. I love you, my bud. Uh, I talk to you daily. I think of you daily. I, I, I come to you daily. Uh, Pagmir uh, and Citrup. I can't remember Citrup. Uh, Ilanaria, uh, Cooldowns, if anyone remembers him. Sarbus, my baby puppy. Uh, Modark. Uh, Noche, I still remember you if you are even listening to this. Francis, even though you hate me, uh, you know, I still remember you and you still did, you know, a decent amount for me. Um, you know, Ricky, uh, 
kind of gave me my start in Hydral and you know that just started me on my hell rating addiction uh, shorties I love you um, you can have my dick in your mouth anytime you want uh, beats uh, you know even though you know he wasn't like m my favorite person in the world he still taught me a lot of stuff about raiding he was a really good raid leader I can't deny that like, beats was probably the best raid leader the best guild leader that I ever dealt with uh, Smittens he's just an awesome tree uh, Lyra uh, Moo Angry Cake uh, Nidalia um, baby I love you I love you Nad uh, Druger I hope your kids doing all right I hope you laid off the uh, drugs you know <laughs> Doogie I hope you didn't kill yourself out of a stress attack in school uh, Albie, uh, Sam, you have way too many fucking characters, like I said earlier. Uh, Hunger, Ophi, and to everyone else that I missed, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. I hope everyone has a good time with their family and friends and playing games and being awesome. I, you know, I, you guys are amazing. You know, I'm sorry that I must have missed people, but those are not people that I all like. Those are just people that have affected my gaming career with wow specifically so i know this has been a lot about wow but that's that's it merry christmas happy new year happy new years see you guys later